Hi guys, this is Augustin speaking for Platform.sh and today I'm going to show you how you can integrate your Platform.sh project with GitHub and Blackfire. I'm currently creating a new project called Drupal on steroids. I will import an existing repository by simply adding the new Git remote to my project and pushing my project to that new Git remote. You see that automatically my project is being built on platform. So I was starting from a GitHub repository that I'm now pushing to platform SH. And the idea for that tutorial would be to automatically for every branch and pull request that you push to GitHub to be automatically deployed on platform.sh and profiled on Blackfire. So now that my master environment is ready, I'm going to access the website. I see that it's a very basic Drupal 8 website. I will install that Drupal 8 website. All the source code is available on GitHub. I will give the project URL at the end of that tutorial. And I will very quickly configure that website, Drupal on steroids. Give it a username and a password and done. Cool, so I got my Drupal 8 website running. Now I can go to my GitHub project and generate a personal access token that will be required to enable the integrations. So I will give it a short name which is the name of the project and it's a public GitHub repository so I can give only the public repo access. I need to copy that token and now that project on GitHub I'm going to enable the platform.sh integration. So the command to run would be platform integration semicolon add the type is GitHub. I paste the user token and I link to the proper GitHub repository. I want to build the pull request and fetch the branches and I got the payload URL that I need to add as a webhook on my project. So I click on the project settings, add a webhook and services, paste that payload URL and check send me everything. Great, now we got the platform SH and GitHub integration running. Let's go to Blackfire. I got a new project. I click on the platform SH documentation and I have the snippet to enable Blackfire, which I need to add on my .platform.app.yaml. This is the configuration file for your project. I'm simply pasting that snippet here. And it contains the server ID and server token that Blackfire will use to actually profile your website. Now I'm adding a new file, which is called .blackfire.yaml. And it contains all the tests and scenarios that you want Blackfire to run on your pull requests and branches. Again, I need to add and commit that file. And I can simply now push to GitHub and automatically my commits are deployed on platform.sh via the GitHub integration. Let's wait for a couple of minutes that platform.sh is ready and is done deploying my website. This is done. I can go to Blackfire again and copy that line to enable the Blackfire integration. Leave everything as default. All right, and I want to add a notification channel which is going to trigger automatically via GitHub the profiling. So I give the repository name, add the same user token that I already have. You don't need to put the same token, but it makes things easier. And now I'm going to give you an example of everything that we've just done now. I will create a new branch on my project, which is called add the token module. I'm using Composer, so it makes things even easier. 
I simply need to type composer require Drupal token and it's going to load and update my composer.json file and composer.log file. You see that I got two updates and I commit those two files And of course, I need to push to that specific new branch. And you see that as soon as I pushed, GitHub gets the new branch. I can compare and open a pull request for that branch, create a pull request, and that's where the magic happens. You see that automatically, GitHub gives you a notification saying that a deployment has already started on platform.sh. And as soon as the deployment on platform.sh is done, Blackfire will profile that specific pull request and gives you all the details about the profiling. Platform.sh is done. Blackfire is now running. You see that it's still at 0%. It takes a couple of minutes to be complete. All checks are successful. You have two links, two very useful links. One is the website, so you can automatically access your website with the specific URL, PR1 in that case, and of course, the results of the Blackfire profiling with all the scenarios that I've granted and everything is green. Great. Again, that's the case for every single pull request and branches that you push. Thank you very much.